Hey folks, welcome, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marty Fabian Hunter and I'm here to help you shoot better at cowboy action. Today I wanted to take a minute to just talk about a couple of different ways that you can use to shoot your pistols faster while you're on the clock. Uh, a lot of questions that I get from people that have never shot cowboy action before or when I bring the topic up to them, they say, the first thing they say is, oh, fanning. And fanning is going to be where you take the pistol and you use your other hand to work the hammer. So you would do one of these things. Um, super popular in the movies. I know a lot of the old spaghetti westerns used to do stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of trick shooters that use fanning, uh, especially to quick draw and do this kind of stuff. Unfortunately, just like a lot of things in the movies, it doesn't really work out that well. Any shooting sport is of course gonna focus on safety first, so because it's so difficult to aim or control the gun while you're using this method, it is specifically against the rules of cowboy action. So you can't walk up to the firing line, pull the gun out, and just start going nuts on the hammer. Uh, that's a great way to get you kicked out of the club quickly. So I'm sorry guys, if you're interested in fanning your gun or you wanna pick up trick shooting, you are gonna have to do it on your own time and maybe even on your own property. Anyway, that brings us to our next topic, which is slip hammering, which is what a lot of cowboys use to shoot faster while they're on the firing line. So the idea behind slip hammering is instead of pulling the hammer back and pulling the trigger every time, you're actually just holding the trigger down so that as soon as you let go of the hammer, it falls on the round and you can keep on firing as quickly as you can that way. Um, I really like this technique personally because it allows me to really get in and get focused on my grip. Um, I've got a good connection on the grip with the gun. I can really get my sights angled in. And then rather than having to move my finger to pull the trigger each time, I can just focus on working the hammer. And that allows me to shoot a little bit faster. Now, one thing I will say is that when you're using this technique, you do need to make sure you get the hammer all the way back before you release it. Um, my hammers are short stroked on this gun. Uh, for the longer hammers, you do just need to make sure you get them all the way back before you release them. That'll make sure that the timing on the cylinder isn't off and the round goes off. Um, if you're a new shooter trying to use this technique, uh, just be sure that you're very careful whenever you're getting started. Um, when you, whenever you draw the pistol and you're pointed out, make sure that you're fully, make sure that you're extended, you're aimed at the target before you start working the hammer. Um, and then just be very, and I would start out slow, just make sure that you're aimed at the target. If you have to move in between targets, you can sit there and hold the hammer back until you're ready and let it go uh, once you're on target. And then as you get more comfortable with this, you can kind of speed up. Um, it didn't take me a whole lot of time to get used to this technique. Uh, it is something that I use today just because I think it's faster um, than trying to pull the trigger every time. And I, again, I like the fact that I can get locked onto the target and really um, get my sights set. And then I can just move my upper body and I'm only having to worry about the thumb of my weak hand uh, to get those shots off. So anyway, the point is just be super careful, super deliberate, and you can always speed this up as you get more comfortable using the technique on the firing range. Um, always be safe, always be aware of your 170. Make sure you're not putting rounds over the berm or anything like that. Uh, just be careful when you're starting. Anyway, uh, the last technique that I wanted to talk to you about is called double tapping. And uh, there's a couple other great videos online uh, by people that are a lot better at this than me. But the idea is that uh, you're putting two rapid shots on a single target when you're doing this. So the idea is when you draw the gun for the first time, you cock the hammer back and then you take the first shot and then you come back to the, with the trigger still held down, you come back and fire the second shot. So the idea is that while you're taking the opportunity to draw, present, and aim, you've got that hammer pulled back. And then as soon as you're ready, you get lined up, you pull the trigger, the hammer drops, and then you pull it back again and it drops and you've got those two rounds that go off really fast behind each other. So it sounds... So anyway, the idea is that the first two shots in the pattern are gonna be going off really quickly. Um, it's great for like double tap sweeps or any target where you've got to put more than one shot on the starting target. Um, I know a lot of people use this, especially if they have a lot of distance between targets. So if you've got one way over to your left, you need to put two rounds and then you've got another one. You can be pulling the hammer as you come around the side. And then once you're locked on, you can do the second double tap uh, on the other target. So if you have a lot of movement in between targets um, or, you know, just if you want to be 
pulling the hammer back as you're presenting. And then as soon as you get on target, you can pull it and then keep going. And then a lot of people will slip hammer from there. So you do your first double tap and that's your five shots. Uh, for me, this, this technique kind of comes with a lot of risks. Uh, basically, I used it for a couple years when I was really trying to speed up my pistol splits. Um, I got to the point where I was pretty good about getting this presentation and I would hit the first shot, but the act of pulling the trigger and then coming back for the second hammer shot would pull up just slightly. So I had several uh, matches that I went to, especially big matches, which is where you notice stuff the most, right? Um, where I would come up, I would present, I'd get that first shot off and that second shot would just be lightning fast, but it would go right over the top of the target. So, you know, I'd be, ah, and uh, a miss is gonna be a five second penalty anytime you're shooting cowboy action. So unfortunately that means any time I would have saved by trying to execute a double tap, I've now lost fivefold, uh, tenfold or whatever, because I've put a shot over the target and I've missed. So that doesn't really help me. Um, another thing that I noticed whenever I was doing double taps is that I would come up, I would pull the hammer and I would get that shot off, but I would just not quite get the timing right. So what would happen is, is as the hammer was falling, I would actually hit it with my thumb and rather than sending the shot off, I would miss. So I would either not hit that first shot uh, or, I'd, or the cylinder timing would be off and I would end up having to go all the way around the, I would end up having to go all the way around the cylinder for that second, sh for that last shot. Any kind of time I would have saved by doing this fast double tap, I lost because I was having to go back around the cylinder to find that first shot that hadn't gone off because I'd hit the hammer too early or something like that. So, you know, it came, I, I, the, it sounds super cool. I really like the idea because you can kind of like be using the time in between targets to reset. Um, and I know there's a lot of fast shooters that are able to pull this off really well, but for me, it comes with two inherent risks. And one is that if you don't execute it perfectly, either because your recoil brings the gun up or you don't have a good grip, or you mess up hitting the hammer on the second time or something, you can shoot over the target with a second shot and you're never gonna outrun a five second penalty like that. Um, and then the other thing was I would come up and I would screw the timing up. So if I messed up the timing because I was nervous or it was a, a new stage or, or something like that, then I've again lost this extra time and I'd have to go all the way around the cylinder and that would be you know, half a second, a whole second, something like that. And, you know, that's adds up over 10 stages. You know, you can lose matches for a, a second or less. So really for me, uh, the double tap method doesn't, it, it's not really worth the risks for me. So I always just come straight up and then I just slip hammer everything. Because even though, even though that sounds super cool, it's not necessarily that much faster than Yeah, so the, I don't know, if, it, if there is a little bit of difference, it's not enough to be worth the risk of doing something like that. So anytime I look at this game, I always think about risk reward and the risk reward for this method just wasn't good enough um, for me to be able to implement it in my practice. And that could just be because I don't practice enough. Uh, like I said, I know there's a lot of other really good shooters that use this method. It's just not for me, so. Anyway, so those are the three different ways that you can shoot faster. Uh, one of which is illegal. You can't do the fanning thing, unfortunately. Uh, sorry, I know it looks cool when they do it in the movies, but it's not something we can do in our sport due to safety reasons. Uh, and honestly, it's not as fast anyway. Um, second would be slip hammering. You draw and you're able to just hold the trigger down and let the hammer go. And then third would be double taps. Uh, pull the hammer back, pull the trigger, and then keep holding it down while you finish off the other four rounds. So those are kind of the three different ways that you could approach shooting faster, two of which are actually legal in cowboy action. And then, sorry for you guys that like to fan, uh, this isn't the sport for you. Anyway, I think that covers everything I wanted to say for today. So uh, let me know in the comments if you think I missed anything or if you have ideas for other videos, I am happy to review those and I may even run with one of them. So thanks for stopping by and I will see y'all on the range.